On site heat today, drilling 100 metre hole for geothermal heating. And what we do, we start off drilling down three metres, uh, we put what we call a case in a sleeve if you like, in, and drill down the middle of the sleeve, um, hopefully we, we don't hit sands or gravels, if we do we progress the sleeving, if we don't we just drill down to we hit rock, throw the rock, 100 metres. I'm pumping fresh water down the middle of my rods, um, it's hitting the bottom of the hole and coming back out of the casing and being recycled back through a pump and going back down the hole again. That that tells us what I'm going through, what grounds beneath us. That also brings the cuttings out what's underground. That tells us what I'm going through and that in turn tells us what sort of bit I need. Um, at the moment I'm on what you call a rock bit, a ballistic bit, uh, but it's not progressing the hole very well. So I'm going to pull that and I'm going to go back in with a claw bit that'll dig a little bit faster. Um, the time scale would be with water flush, which is the system we're using at the moment, a um, hundred metre hole takes approximately a week, depending on what I'm going through. Once I've got my desired depth, a hundred metres, I'll then pull the rods uh, as quick as we can. As I'm drilling my last rod off, Stewie, my labourer, he'll ha get the loop ready for us, have it filled with water, have the rebar taped to the end. As soon as the rod is out, the loop goes in. Once the loop's at its depth, I'll pull my casing round the loop with the open head, um, backfill the hole, leave it a metre off the off the off ground level, bent the night, plug it, pressure test it, floor test it, video this, and then I'll hand it over to whoever's going to do the trenching work. Mm -hmm.